Hey everyone, topic for this tutorial is composing a horror score, which I've never done in PQ8, but I'm going to give it a try here. I try to make these tutorials as short and concise as possible, so I'm going to compose as much as I can in about 20 minutes. So a horror score to me means using weird, unconventional sounds, so I'm definitely going to use the instrument editor. So I'm going to start pattern 00, zero off with SFX 8, 9, 10, and 11 because SFX 0 to 7 is reserved for the instrument editor. And I just thought I'd try to compose some weird sounding ambience. So something that sounds semi-random, but you know is creating tension using the sounds rather than, than using traditional melodies and harmonies. So uh, let's get some weird sounds happening. So I'm going to start in SFX zero and I don't know maybe some kind of like low hum let's loop this and let's move it down the octave slightly louder and maybe add some high frequencies with uh, with instrument three. And let's make those a little quieter. Okay, so let's just uh, plug that into SFX8. So we're going to select instrument editor zero and let's make it really low so it's even going to sound lower and grosser. Oh, we can even make it even lower. Let's make it a little louder. What happens if we move some notes around? And let's just loop this for now. And I'll just put in some fades in and fades out. Just make it try to sound as random as possible. I don't think that does anything. Uh, what if we use C2? All right, I like it. So in pattern nine, let's do some high frequency things. So maybe like a high frequency buzz. So let's try an odd, more an odder interval like C to B. We'll move that up in a few octaves. Make it really fast. And maybe let's try speed two. Oops, we're, we need to use this instrument. Hmm, okay, let's try something buzzier. And let's loop it. Maybe let's add some noise instruments. Okay, let's see what happens when we plug that in. So we want C2. So if we have this on C2, so what I'm doing is I'm just highlighting them, highlighting them all to transpose them up to C2. Uh, you can go in and you can push two on all of them, or what you can do is you can highlight them all and then hit Shift I and that transposes them up 12 octaves, which is the octave. So if we have this calling instrument one or for the instrument editor is going to play exactly what we had written here. If we want actually if we want exactly what we written here then we need volume at seven. So this sounds exactly like this. 
but we don't want it that loud. We want it in the background because this is ambient. And let's transpose it up really high. So now this sounds like this. And let's loop this so that we can play around with it. Yeah, let's just move, put some, let's just put some effects in here, four and five. Maybe try moving some of the notes up an octave. If we let's say let's do three, four, five here and let's put an arpeggiator here and see what that sounds like. Yeah, that sounds nice and gross. Okay, so now in 10, uh, let's add some like one shot things. So far, we've got instrument editor zero and one playing these looped sounds but let's get some one-shot sounds happening. So like, let's say three notes. Oh, let's use instrument one. Three notes that are played pretty quickly. And let's put a slide effect in between them. Uh, let's change the instruments up. One thing I don't want is I don't want it to sound too pitchy. I don't want it to be a melodic sound. I want it to be more of a ambient percussive sound. Okay, let's try that. And let's, uh, so that's SFX2, so Let's just kind of spread those around like, like this. Sounds pretty cool. Now the one thing about this is that once it loops back, you can kind of hear that it's a loop, which I don't want. So one thing we can do is create another pattern, sorry, another SFX using this idea. So let's put it into 11 and and what I'm going to do is I want to copy pattern 00 by selecting 00, command C, command V, paste. I'll get rid of the loop points. Actually, I'll just keep the loop back. And just to make it sound like it's not always looping, I'm going to make this SFX 11, except I'm just going to move around these pitches more or just use different ones. So that should sound less like a loop. And now I was thinking, let's add like, a, let's use a conventional instrument. Let's add like some kind of like low knocking sound or, or something. You'll notice I'm, I'm, I'm using a lot of mouse to copy and paste and move around, which isn't a great habit, but I used a lot of mouse for copy and pasting before Pico 8 I, uh, added the features to use, use the arrows. 
So, I mean, I would recommend you get in the habit of using the arrows for copy and pasting and then using command and the arrows to move around the the SFX quicker. So, I mean, it's just something that I should do more, but I just, I already developed the bad habit because uh, I started doing it with the mouse before they added that feature. Okay, so uh, we've got these knocks. So let's add just a few more knocks in this pattern. Okay, and I, I, I don't want it to sound like it's a, a rhythmic beat, so I'm just gonna try and to space them out a little bit more randomly. Yeah, it's like uh, maybe there's like a, a monster knocking at the door or something. Let's make them a little bit louder. And what else can we add that would sound funny? How about some noise, like fade-in noise? Okay, um, now how about we, maybe maybe something melodic could work here. So let's uh, take the instrument editor, and how about, so if, we're, we're, if we are gonna do something melodic, let's do something low, and so whatever we write has, has to be based around C2. Let's have an instrument that starts with a pitch, but then slowly drops in pitch, or sorry, eventually drops in pitch. And we'll create Okay, that might be a little bit too much. And actually, let's make it. It's, it's going to be a really low sound. So we I've moved it down and down an octave so we can get some really low notes. And let's uh, try to compose something. I don't know. Let's uh, try uh, picking some random notes. get that that uh, pitch tail copy and pasting that and moving it down a semitone hmm I'm not sure I like that sound so let's go back and make it, uh, I don't know, something scarier. notes here. Oops, not not in this XF, SFX, on SFX3. Okay, this is sounding a little more interesting. And we'll add the little pitch dips manually 
So I'm going to let's say let's have some pitch dips on the on on the last two notes of the of this melody. So I'm going to highlight them, Shift M, which lowers them by one semitone, and then lower this by another semitone, and then add a slide. also a volume tail so that every time it's hit it kind of fades out so I'm going to increase this loop so this this instrument here is just a three note pattern so I'm going to copy this three note pattern whoops And uh, to get that little buzz, that little hiccup in the sound, I have this instrument three, but at a lower volume. But all the other notes are higher volume, but I want it to fade out. So I have this pattern of 717. So I'm going to do 717, 717, and then I want it to start fading out. So 617, 617, sorry, 616, 616, and then 515, 515, 414, 414, until it fades out. <laughs> and I don't want it to loop. So you can hear now, so it looped, the loop, sorry, SFX3 uh, is at speed two, and this, this finishes before this finishes. So you can, so these notes here aren't being, you can't hear these notes because the loop hasn't finished. So what I'm going to do is just loop these last two notes. Last three notes. So that now our little melody will play. And we can lower these by two semitones. And then let's add another note here. I don't know. Um, it's a horror score, so it almost doesn't matter. Well, that, yeah, that's not going to do. A little bit too melodic. So we kind of have this little motif here of D sharp down to D, down one semitone, and then maybe we can continue that motif here. So let's, uh, yeah, let's continue that motif. Um, how can we do this? We're gonna have to continue into the next, into the next SFX. And then maybe one more time. Actually, what I could, what would make more sense is if I just copied this and then transpose it. So I want to move this up a minor third to G, and then move this up by a second F sharp. Okay, let's listen to that from the beginning. I 
going to finish the tutorial here, but one thing I would probably change is get uh, this this instrument a little bit more spooky sounding. So maybe I'll try something really quickly here. Maybe instead of one, it should be it should be instrument seven. And then maybe fill in some of these spaces, maybe with uh, some. Uh, whoops, with some melodic fragments. Not melodic fragments, but just kind of like random uh, sounds. there you have it there's my best attempt at some horror ambience in about 20 minutes so what i'll do is i'll um i'll uh, upload this to patreon so that you can continue developing it and playing with it and developing your own sounds but yeah writing horror music is all about finding weird sounds and using the the sounds to build tension uh, over time rather than melodies and harmonies Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions or want me to clarify anything, leave a comment below and I'll see you in the next one.